started this relationship with Feeding Tampa Bay, we were just opening the, the hotel. And when we open every hotel with Mainsail, we look for that nonprofit partner that really aligns with our values um, as well as our brand. So as a food and culinary spirited hotel, we reached out to, to Feeding Tampa Bay. And at that point, we kind of started this marriage. And with that, it's kind of blossomed this, this epic chef competition. And we're very fortunate here at the Epicurean. We have the Culinary Theater, which has been beyond of great use for us. Um, but probably the most special event that's come out of it is Epic Chef. And, and with that, not only with the great purpose of bringing awareness um, to the food insecure in the community with Feeding Tampa Bay, but it's really allowed us to involve the community with the local chefs. And when you have that, it, we all come together for one purpose. And, it's also the fun piece of it as well. And it's hard to replicate what we do with Epic Chef and that energy. We do a lot of amazing things at this hotel, but there's certainly something special about tonight and the years we've done Epic Chef and their partnership. There's a lot to be said about the Tampa food scene now. And we opened this hotel, we're celebrating 10 years this year. And when we opened, it was, it, food was really kind of starting to take a turn um, with these establishments. And a lot of this talent is quite frankly saturated the area now. And we look back at just this year alone and, and Michelin's here. Um, so it's great to be part of the market for the last 10 years. There's a lot of new establishments now. So for us to be established and all of our loyal fans over the years and the local community, we're very proud to be part of not only this hotel, the Tampa food scene, but the great city we live in. Feeding Tampa Bay has had so much success getting different local supporters um, through companies as well as the patrons to be able to come out and see the spectacle of the competition, the heartbeat of the hotel, meanwhile still supporting Feeding Tampa Bay. So we're, uh, we're excited to do this. This is our eighth year doing it um, and it's a hot ticket. So you got to check out our website. It's Epicurean Hotel and then you go into the events calendar and you can purchase tickets that way, but you got to get them quick. If you're unable to join us live here on Monday nights, you can actually stream the video in the competition on feedingtampabay.org backslash Epic Chef. Hey, I'm Thomas Mance from Feeding Tampa Bay. We're here at Epic Chef, year number eight. Uh, we're in the finals tonight, where the two contestants that have won previous rounds are ready to face off and get the Marty Blitz Award. This event really helps us celebrate the importance of culinary arts chefs in our community. So we love to lift the work uh, that our chefs in our community do that support the restaurants here in Tampa Bay. But we also do this because it raises awareness for the folks that in our community that don't have a meal on the table. So this really serves both purposes. And after eight years, we've provided close to 2 million meals because of this partnership. So how great is that? We've also been able to celebrate a lot of wonderful chefs. Events like Epic Chef and Fork Fight, and now we have Empty Bowls, which helps us bring awareness to children who are food insecure. It really helps us tell the story of our neighbors, right? It's an event that brings people together where we can have a conversation about who may need our help and support and bring other people into that conversation who might wanna be our friends, neighbors, uh, help out as we seek to make sure that everybody has access to a healthy, nutritious meal and other services as they maybe struggle in their day-to-day -day lives. One of the things we'd like everybody to know about Feeding Tampa Bay and the work that we do in Epic Chef is all of it goes to help a friend and neighbor. We don't refer to them as them, we refer them to them as us. People that each of you know that watch this, you know someone who is food insecure, you know someone who is struggling. So this event is about making sure that they have resources uh, necessary that when they come home, they can put a meal on the table just like you'll put a meal on the table tonight. Thank you.